Anyways, yes, so <laughs> landed, landed on its wheels and I just drove it off. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we are back again for another thrilling, exciting, mediocre episode of Is It Shit with Dan and Sean. And today we are looking at We are looking at the Keeve Audio Tape Face. Keeve, Keeve Audio cool. Tape Face. Well, it looks awesome. You could do some tape on your face. <laughs> Stretch it out a bit. <laughs> Need some. <laughs> yeah, that would that would help. You could. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so anyway, we, <laughs> we'll save that. We'll save the abuse for <laughs> next time. Yeah. Um, but it looks really cool. This doesn't it? The, the plugin. It's amazing how some big realistic VU meters get people excited, and they like to part with their money as soon as they see them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's got do the t- um, it's got real tape rules. Uh, yeah. We were gonna. So we're going to start with this, Sean, by me asking you. Uh, we've, we've talked a bit about saturation. We have. Being a, you right there? Yeah, I'm just moving my microphone. All right. Um, uh, so, what's the relationship between tape and saturation? Ah, okay. So, in the good old days, or bad mm-hmm. old days, when they look at of tape, which is obviously when I started, um, you could Fucking get. Fucking wax cylinders when you started, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> it, Almost, yeah. Long time ago. Um, it was a completely different relationship with signal to noise. So, back in the days of tape, if like now, if you record something to your hard disk at 32 floating point, it doesn't matter how quiet the signal is. You can turn it up as much as you want later, and there will be no noise. Signal to noise is kind of not an issue anymore. In the days of tape, tape was inherently noisy. So, in order to make less noise compared to the signal, to improve the signal to noise ratio, you print everything pretty hot to tape. Mm-hmm. But if you go a little bit further into that if you go into the red on tape you get natural tape compression and saturation which engineers found sounds really really nice Mm. and it became something you would use as an effect tape saturation tape sort of does that anyway but the more you push into the red the more it does it very cool very cool well there we go we've all learned something there except well i mean i knew that obviously briefed him before we started Yeah. yeah um so what makes the keeve audio tape face so uh, saturated. So saturated. I don't want to say so great because we don't know that it's great yet. Ah. Um, do you know what? There's a lot of these around. Mm. Uh, we've looked at some made by IK Multimedia not long ago. The T-Rex stuff. That yep. was very good. Uh, Waves for a long time has done the Kramer tape and the J37. Mm-hmm. They're okay. Who? The, the J37. Waves. Waves, yeah. Never we're, heard of them. We're, we're, yeah, we're not talking about them. Um, so there's been various uh, tape emulators around, and they do a similar thing in that they give you that sound of saturated tape, and they also give you the slight wackiness that tape does, in that there is a tiny amount of wow and flutter and of randomness, and that, that analogue style signal which we spent decades trying to get rid of, we are now paying good money to get it back. We pay for really expensive, perfect converters, and then... <laughs> It put plugins on it to make it sound rubbish again. But anyway, I understand it does have that sound. It has become synonymous with, oh, that sounds like a record. Mm. Why yeah. does those old records sound so good from the 70s yeah. and 80s? Because the tape made them sound really interesting. So this basically gives you the chance to do that. There's so, various... Sorry. Go on, no go. If, is this something that you might have, like, low... So if you were recording a, a band, a Fleetwood Mac tribute band, is this something yep. that you might have open on instances all across all of your channels? No, that would ruin it. Okay. One. You'd have one on your master. One on your master. Or maybe just on your drum So bus. it's not like turning your door into a tape machine is sort of what I'm getting at. Uh, no, but it gives you, it allows you to emulate that sound. Once you've got everything done, you can yeah. put this on and, and just slowly feather in a bit of that tape saturation sound. Slowly feather in. I know you'd like to just whack everything yes. on and then listen to it later. Oh, I've yeah. ever done it again. Nice and slow. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. Anyway. And this has some nice options. So you have three tape types. Most of these things have that. So we have a normal tape. We have a high definition tape. And then we have a lo-fi tape, which is a, just a grittier sound. So if you want some dirty drum tape saturation, use the lo-fi. Um, obviously, you can drive it with the input. Uh, you can link the input and the output. So as the input goes up, the output goes down. So you get like gain matching. But you want to sometimes unlink those. You want to drive it more to get that tape sound. Um, you can choose the speed of the tape. So you've got 7.5, 15 or 30. This is IPS inches per second. 
Now, in the old days, you'd run at 30 to get the best quality. You would never dip below that. But if you had an old 16 track, maybe it only ran at 15. And mm. if you wanted to save money, you'd run it at seven and a half to get twice as much for your money. Tapes were expensive. Mm -hmm. This gives you that. And as you drop it down, the quality drops. Very cool. Yeah. These are nice features, aren't they? Somebody's thought about this. They have thought about this. Well, it's got some other things. You can add noise if you want to add noise. And yeah. you can add some stereo width if you want. Um, did it, I ask if the tapes move? You did ask. Do they? They don't. <laughs> No. Well, I, they didn't move when I was playing with it. Mm. <laughs> no. Um, do you know what? It sounds good. I like it. Um, does it sound better than other ones I've heard? I really couldn't tell the difference. Right. If I'm being completely honest, this and the IK Multimedia one sounded very similar. Yeah. They just have slightly different controls on them. Uh, yeah, it sounds good. I, I, I'd be very happy to use it. Okay, price? Um, at the moment, it's $99. It's yeah. normally $199. It's on sale at the moment. It's scalable, Dan, which I like, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yep, scalable, scalable. 14-day demo, which is nice. Um, has oversampling. <clears throat> it has everything a modern plug-in should Here's have. the thing. Yeah. So, if how many saturators do you reckon there are out there at the moment? Oh, my God. Lots. And they've all... So, 14-day free trial. So, two of those, you've yep. two saturators, 14 days. That's basically a month. For two saturators will last you a month. Yeah. So, you could just work on trials live on trials I mean you could but you're going to find your sound at some point and want to keep it no That's well maybe I don't know maybe you would yeah, yeah. maybe you would yeah, yeah, I, do. I, I like to build a chain that works for me and use it for a while until mm. I want to change it up that's where you and I differ isn't it yes yeah. <laughs> yes okay. your studio is like a five year old's playroom <laughs> yeah, yeah I, mean, I was looking I was just looking I was like shit he dusts of course I dust I'm looking after my gear some of it is older than you <laughs> literally desk brush I do have it look you have to have a desk brush you have to get the dust out of your stuff you just moved my drum machine there you, sorry everything has to be just so don't want anything wonky yeah. okay so this is this is where Sean and I are quite different quite different anyway so um, 14 day free trial yeah $99 when it's on sale which is the real price as we uh, all know generally the key audio uh, what's the face bit what's the face about well I had to call it something and they've called it tape face okay good um, is it shit no, it's not shit. I think it's really good. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily much better than some of the others out there, but it's another option and it's one to try. Hence the demo thing. Go and try it. Brilliant stuff. Go and have a go. Um, but before you do that, um, donate through Patreon. Is that what we're saying? I think that's what we're saying officially yeah. now. It's yeah. less beggy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's beg um, Go check out the website uh, and the Instagram, uh, in, uh, Studio Life 101. Yeah, and there's the merch store where you can get t shirts and stickers and bags and all that kind of stuff. We're expanding people, basically. We are looking to take over the world from plugins. Why not? It's good, good a plan as any, Dan. <laughs> it's, it's the best. When you're an aging sound engineer, you don't have many options. <laughs> YouTube has to be it. <laughs> and here we are. Cool. We'll see you next time.